Okay. Sorry. Perfect. Security is totally already looking at me. Shit. I think he's gonna come get me. I don't want to look behind me. Hold on. Let's do this. Yeah. Is he watching me? <laughs> All right, let's go here. I'm gonna turn the camera around and let's let's go. I won't be able to see the chat, but I'll. Or actually, I can flip it. Okay, here we go. Well, let me get it focused. There. Hey, what's up, Dan? How are you? All right, so I'll give you guys the rundown. So this is right over by Artist Alley. So this is Funko Town. And you guys know that I don't like Funko, so. <laughs> Look at all this. This is going to be in landfills on Mars one day when we have to get it all off Earth. Off the flat Earth. <laughs> I do like Toki Doki, though. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> this guy's pretty good. I like his art. It's fun. Hey, what's up, Troy? We've got... Oh man, I'm gonna need to get my glasses on. Hold on, let me do this. I can't, it's the reading glasses, so I can't like really walk around in them. Hold on. Yeah, Structure Arts and Norman Damon. Hey, what's up? How are you? My apologies for not doing much content the last couple of weeks. I was getting ready for the show. If you guys follow me on any other uh, social media, I mean, you know how much I've been drawing. I actually just ran into Jay Lee coming in and he was really really complimentary to my new stuff so that was super super flattering and pretty humbling but it definitely made an impression on people so that's good <laughs> all right so i wanted to show you guys this one statue that i saw oh god this sucks i can't i can't read the chat without my freaking glasses Ooh, pumpkin head This thing is so badass. I think a lot of you guys know that I'm a um, I'm a big statue fan. I don't have any room for them at my house, sadly. But oh my god, I love these things. We got some smaller ones. Thank you. Hey, what's up, James? How are you? And we got spawning. It is rich. Rich, rich live. <laughs> I'm going to try to figure out if we can get Kelsey on um, maybe Friday or Saturday. I'll text him tonight. I've been going home after the show since I live in San Diego. Normally I stay down here. But um, yeah, I'll try, to, I'll try to figure out how to stream with Kelsey too. I don't know if I'd be able to hear him though. It logistically might be tricky for me. I don't know if I'm that tech savvy. Oh, this thing right here. This is so insane. You guys got to see this. This. This thing is freaking huge. It, it, this is the coolest thing that I saw at the show yesterday. It's, it's probably 20 feet tall. And it, like... I don't know if like video or even a, I took photos of it. I don't think it'll do it justice. Let me get over here. So this is a Square Enix booth. That thing is so badass. I would put that in my backyard. <laughs> All right, so let's cruise around. I have, I honestly have not seen hardly any of the show. I, I, exhibitors. Hold on. The hall will open in less than 30 minutes. Please make oh sure my God. all merchandise and trash are out of the aisles and return. Hold on, I left my portfolio somewhere. What the fuck did I do? The hall in less than 30 minutes. Holy shit. Let me sign out. I'll be back in a minute. Fuck. Sorry, I thought I had left. Holy shit, that was scary. I I thought, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I'm fine, the portfolio is at my table. Holy shit. I have like $40,000 worth of art in this thing. If I would have lost it, oh my God. 
dude, it has all my blaster kit art. Like, so, oh, dude, I have Travis pages in here. Holy shit. Whew. Give me a sec to regain my composure. <laughs> Oh my God, dude, that was so scary. Okay, so I'm gonna carry this with me. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. No worries. Okay, friends, let's go. Rich is back to normal. Dude, like seriously, I have all my best art in this portfolio and I thought I had set it down like maybe, you know, in just in the hall as I was um, turning the camera on live. I had no idea where I said it. It was on my chair. Whew. Fuck. <laughs> Dude. All right. Damn. I cannot fucking believe that. <laughs> oh, All right. Well, that was exciting. You ever want to get your blood pumping and lose like $40,000 worth of art? <laughs> Okay, whoa. Here we go. Pay, pay close attention, friends. So let's see. Ooh, these are kind of cool. They're like prints, though. I'll show this to James. James and I like the black and white Mickey Mouse art. Holy shit. Alright, so Nickelodeon. Yeah. So supposedly J. Scott Campbell has a huge booth. I've not seen it. Um, I didn't notice any difference with the show last night. I know there was a lot of talk about like the whatever. Someone's not here, celebrities, something like that. I didn't I didn't notice the difference at all. Hall H is quieter. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, pinball. Right. How is everyone doing today? Hopefully good. Uh, I don't know if I can stream at lunch. The only problem is... Um, uh, I only have so much battery in my phone, and if I do PayPal transactions, I need my phone charged. Like, you know what I mean? So, I have to be kind of mindful of uh, my battery. I did bring a backup, but these are really cool. It was funny, they were setting this up yesterday. This Hellboy bust is really, really nicely done. It's crazy. No, I, I prefer Mignola's Hellboy head, though. Abe Sapien, very cool. Yeah, it was crowded yesterday. I mean, it's, it's going to be a good show. I was bummed. I don't think Mignola is here. He, he had, I think at some point, maybe a year or two ago, pulled out of the show, which is kind of a bummer. These are cool. I don't know if I can go in here, but check out this ship really quick. I love these little models. Oh, man, so cool. Exhibitors, please return to your booths. How long till the exhibit hall opens? He doesn't even finish his own sentence. I always wonder if, it, if it's the same guy. Like, that voice is the same voice that is always doing it. Hey, here's Quan. Well, should we go to Quan's booth? You know what time it is, Quan. Can we go look at art at your booth? Of course, I'm going right now. Okay, let's go to Quan's booth and look at original art. No, go look at the real stuff. Oh, go, okay, I'll look at the real. How long till the, how long till the exhibit hall opens? They said 30 minutes, so they're looking at 9 o'clock. Okay, I'll, I'll come down in 10 minutes. Let's, we'll, we have 10 more minutes, and we'll go to Quan's, and we'll look at some um, some art. Ooh, I wonder if IDW is dropping any new 
Artist editions. The hall will open in less than 15 minutes. All merchandise and trash must be out of the aisles. Please return to your exhibits and prepare for the attendees who will enter the hall in less than Oh, here's Alex Ross's booth. Let's check out the Ross booth. Dude must drop a lot of money. He had like three, at least three girls working for him, if not more. It's got to be expensive to hire. I mean, look how big Alex's booth is. Oh, this is nice. Hey. Oh, what's up, Sean? How are you? Those cheeks. What's up, Joseph? How are you? Through Skynet. Oh, is it <laughs> AI announcer? He was, but it's been the same for a million years. This is nice. I think these are just fancy prints because they, I don't know. Maybe not, though. No, they're prints. Yeah, Alex is so good. I think the, the original art is in here. Uh, I don't know. These all look like prints. X-Men. So far, Comic-Con's doing really well for me. Great, in fact. It was really cool. I got to hang out with Jonathan Glapian, Daniel... Enriquez and Victor Olazaba yesterday for maybe about 45 minutes. It was really cool. I'd never met Jonathan in person. This cap is really cool. And we'll do this again tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. So don't bum out if for some reason today we don't get to see like a lot of the cool booths. Um, I got stuck in traffic and got in like 15, 20 minutes. I had to wait for all these trolleys to go by. I love this piece. Obviously this is like a montage of stuff that he's done, but it is pretty badass. If you're an Alex Ross fan, this thing's pretty bananas. But yeah, we'll we'll check out the room room more tomorrow. Oh, here's Campbell's booth. Let's check this out. Hey Carlos, how are you? I'm 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 live on on oh, YouTube. Okay. No, it's fine. But yeah, I always come early. I'm an early bird. Okay, yeah. Oh, it looks McFarland. But I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, it's... I'm fine with it. Yeah. So Campbell's booth is nice. Yeah, but the problem is, I, I tried to, to meet him uh -huh. uh, yesterday, but uh, he was... Don't make eye yeah. contact. No, no, Don't no. make eye contact with Mr. Campbell. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy so much your uh, videos of uh, live shows. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, It's kind of a tradition now. The statues are cool. Oh, man, they look great. It's funny because I, I remember when they were doing the Danger Girl toys and Jeff was yes, so yes, yes. particular. Oh, hey, what's up, John? How are you? Okay, so let's see. Let's head over to Quan's booth and let's look at some OG art because he represents Matarero, Olivier Coipel. He's got all kinds of good shit. Okay, I'll see you later, Carlos. Okay, see Bye. you. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, I'll be at my table all day. Okay, so let's we'll head this way and we'll look at some different stuff on the way. I'll show you Jay Lee. We might pass. Oh, look, Eric Powell's booth. Oh, Mark Buckingham is right here, too. We got Becky Cloonan. Powell's great. So, Mark Buckingham. Legend of the game, for sure. So, I don't know if he's sharing the, the booth with him. Rafael Navarro. All right, let's see. I think Joe Benitez is down here somewhere. We've got Chaos or Coffin Comics. If you guys are noticing, do you see all these all these people aren't here yet? Who's here? Rich. That's why I make the big money. <laughs> the super famous people have other people set up their shit. 
I am not at that level. I'm a grinder. All right, we always come this way almost every year and look at these toys. So this is, what is this just Diamond Direct? Let's see what we got here. Some little Spideys. It's Medieval Knight Venom. Hmm, this is pretty cool. Sorry for the glare. These little Batman are actually kind of cool. <laughs> they actually look they look pretty good, like all lined up like that. They look pretty intimidating. I like the shadows and the eyes. Um let's go this way. Okay. Oh man, there's no like, every year they usually have shit back here. Look at this mountain of stuff. I don't even know what all this is. It, it, like on my camera, it looks like cases of my phone wanted to update. All right, so we got some novels. Hi, excuse me. Some cool little handbags for the ladies. All right, let's head to Artist Alley. We got this. Oh, they did a. This is so. This is really cool. It's a Junji Ito. Um, like focused booth this year. I wonder if Junji Ito is going to be here. It's called Edoverse. Look at this up here. It's huge too. It's pretty cool, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries. Goodness gracious. You know, I, I'll be honest. What's the big fucking secret? You're at Comic Con. Like, seriously, I'm an adult. I can think through these situations. What could it possibly matter four minutes before the show opens if I'm filming the roof of their booth? <laughs> like, it's just a, it's like a power trip. Like, they, they're, they're like robots where they go, don't let anyone film before 9.30. And they're like, okay, I'm a robot. I'll do what you say. It's like, think outside the box. <laughs> I get if it was like the show wasn't open, but they already, preview night was last night. Everyone's seen what they have there. Konami. Konami. Nami with Ko. <laughs> Usually the Weta booth is right here. So it looks like Weta. Weta didn't come unless they moved. Konami doesn't, I don't know, their presence isn't really that interesting to me this year. All right, so we are heading into the promised land of original art and um, all kinds of badass stuff. So let's see what we got here. Some really, really expensive shit over here. So this is one of the auction places. I want to say that this might be Sotheby's. No, this is Heritage. Okay. So let's see what they got at Heritage. I don't know what that is. This is pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Chauncey? How are you? We've got All Gold Production, Spawny. Look, Charles Schulz. Schulz. Ooh, Dave Stevens piece. Check this out. Oh, Alex Raymond. Okay. Miller DKR. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm like, I've kind of got sensory overload, so it's like... Um, I'm seeing stuff, but you know what I mean? It's like the con, like er there's like bullshit everywhere. So you kind of like lose, lose track of, uh, I'll show you this. So this is Albert Moy's booth. We always come here. Got a McGinn. With the Travis X-Men. Hey, how are you guys? I'm good, how are you? Good, good, good. I just want to make sure you 
talking to me. No, no, no. <laughs> talking to myself. That's no. perfect. Frank Miller, 300 art. Oh, man, it's so badass. 175K for that one. Look at this. Jeff Jones, original painting right here. 35,000. If you could buy a five-figure piece, which one? I think, you know, you got to go with, well, for me, I probably would want something from Frazetta. I think that would be... Someone asked about this piece. Hey, how are you guys? So this is a blue line that Travis inked over Jim. I had a I had an art collector ask me about that this morning, but I, I think a few years ago... Oh, look at this Mignola watercolor. If I could have the number, I could give you a call. Well, yeah. And he's a really nice guy. Okay, let's keep going. I think Jay Lee is like... Uh, oh, here's Jay Lee right here. I'm not, I'm not going to make a big deal about filming him, though. But he's, he's drawing right here. I don't, I don't want to bug him and like fanboy out because he, he's, he seems like a pretty private person. So I don't want to like be like, hey, I'm live on the air. That was Peach Momoko. That's cool. Oh, and Adi Granov. I forgot that they were sharing the table. Gran uh, I don't see Adi here yet, but that's cool. She's great. Very prolific too. KRS Comics. We've got, let's continue. Oh, Arthur Adams. Like I said, I don't want to film him. Like, it's a little rude. But um, we'll come back when he's not there and film the booth. But I don't want to walk up to his thing live. It's not cool. Have to be respectful. You don't want to be a douchebag. Here's William Stout's booth. He always gets a pretty big booth. He's great. That was Peach there. She was she was sitting at the table. I've seen her. I've seen photos of her before. I'm like 99% sure that that was her. Maybe you were looking. Maybe you were looking at the wrong person. But she was she was there with a, a kind of a thin guy. I I literally saw I saw her a day or two ago. Oh, it was uh, she was doing a signing for CGC. Hey, how are you? I'm pretty good with faces. <laughs> That's kind of my thing. All right, so where the fuck is Kwan's booth? Kwan's usually like right. All right. Oh wait, oh, it's Kwan should be right over here somewhere. Stuart Sagar. Some more art. Let's see what we got. Oh, man, this is <laughs> oh, so here's Mark Brooks, Ryan Otley, Frank Cho, Clay Mann, Tom King, Boo, and Mitch Gerard. <laughs> I got no love for Tom King until he apologizes to Jay Lee. He's dead to me. Dead to me. <laughs> I don't know. If I met him, maybe I would feel different. But I don't know where Quan's booth is. This is very weird. Um, fuck. His booth definitely moved. All right, let's see if he's over here. Oh, here it is. Quan, you didn't tell me you moved, you asshole. What's up, Eddie? I'm live on the YouTube. Stop cursing. Oh, uh, well, I already burned my career a few minutes ago, so it's... <laughs> Hand me something cool, Quan. Write meow. Hand <laughs> you something cool? Yeah, like a good portfolio. Something. 
something that you think that that YouTube would like. Hi, Eddie. How are you? This is Eddie Choi, one of my bestest friends. That's something cool. Eddie, you know what? Eddie always keeps me in the loop. What is this? Is it art? Oh, look. That's what happens when you go to Comic Con. Ten dollars. It's an envelope full of money. Ten by ten. Okay. But it's the corner you. I'm gonna say he's got over a hundred grand in here. Here, take it. I don't feel comfortable holding. Oh, look, Dustin Win. That's me. All he is is Dustin Nguyen. <laughs> you told me that joke, Dustin. <laughs> All right. Casada. Oh, dude. No, that's great. It's a corner. Here we go. Oh, fuck. That's got to be like 30, right? He has an iron. That's probably just 20. And also location, right? No, I'm trying to do a choose oh, yes, 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 yes. Does he get like the white people discount? <laughs> uh, yes. <probably. laughs> Look at Rich over there, he's like, yeah. <laughs> Exhibitors, please return to your box. Large going. amounts of aisle traffic will delay the opening of the exhibit hall. Uh, this is awesome. Quan, do you have an Olivier Coipel uh, portfolio this year? Coipel's always the fan favorite. How about Matarera? Oh, can I see that Matarera piece? Do you mind? I don't want to, the, the pencils. Thank you. Here's a, like a Joe Mad pencils. Let's um do this. So there's not too much glare. Here, I'll show you kind of the whole piece first. It's in plastic, so it's got a little bit of a glare. Let me, okay, hold on. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic. Eddie, can you grab the plastic edge so I don't bend this? Thank you. Here we go. Sorry if the camera's buggy, but I wanted to, so you guys could see it without. Uh, Joe's pencils are so good. Classic gully hand. Oh, thank you very much. You guys rule. This has been a tradition too, Quan, for at least four or five years. Is uh, we always come to your booth and spend quality time looking at art. Are you harassing me? Oh, dude, look at this. A Koi Pal a Batman cover. Get in nice and close for you guys. 2009 is a long time ago. What? Oh, I'm commenting. Someone oh. said the last time they were at San Diego Comic Con was 2009. You can see Koi Pal gets those nice, like, lines on his, his stuff looks really, really good. And it's always interesting because he uses blue pencil, so you see a little bit of the blue pencil in there. Um, so. I put this out yet. I'm gonna put what, it what's this one? Oh. oh, look at this. Batman originals. These haven't even been out yet. This is the first look. We got 100 people now. This is Quan Chang. What's your number? What's the booth of? Why is it smoking? <laughs> Why is it smoky? That's not good. <laughs> Keep an eye on that, Quan. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> What's your booth number? This is really cool. 4712. Oh man, this is Opeña, right? Yeah. We'll look at that in a second. <laughs> Why is it smoking? Yeah, right? Oh man, that Batman is great. Look at that. Are, has this come out yet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this the story that he did like a like a year ago? I don't remember this spread. This thing is great. That's the, that's the Here's guy. Urban Legends. Oh, this is Urban Legends? It's yeah. like Iron Batman. I am Batman. Iron Batman. I am Batman. I am Batman. Not Iron Batman. Man, that is so cool. Look at the rendering on that chest. Man, that is money. Okay, here, let's look at this. This looks super cool. I don't even know which way I'm supposed to look at this. Uh, upside down. Skull. So skull, we've got... Skull to the top. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll flip it for you guys. And this is Opeña? Yes, sir. Man, Jerome's so good. Stout. Yeah, William Stout's great. Man. Jerome Pena, he's like, he freaks me out. He's so good. This is the style, man. It's like pen and ink with all that wash. 
all the kids are doing it. Okay. Thank you, Quan. That was excellent. Let's look at this one. Oh, the motorcycle stuff. This is great. Let's start at the top. Eddie, when I started streaming, I lost my portfolio and I have like $40,000 worth of art in it. And I literally almost had a heart attack at Comic Con. I was so freaked out. I was like halfway into the show. I had left it at my table. Oh my God, I was dying. That was, that's probably the scariest moment I've ever had. <laughs> it was bad news. Ugh. not seen this comic book. I don't remember any of these pages. How long ago did this come out, Eddie? What is it? I Am Batman? Uh, was it like two years ago. Two years ago. Wow. I don't remember all these pages. It was a short story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't remember it being so detailed. Was it colored in the book? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, so sometimes they publish stuff in black and white. Oh, yeah, please. Faces are so good. There's all these posters. Uh, uh, top left corner. What's up, bud? Yeah, top left oh, corner. Top I'm seeing prices. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, a lot of people place them on the back. So I look. Let's see. Sixty-five hundred for this page. This Batman's great. It's like it has a little tiny bit of like a Jay Lee thing. It's like a little creepy. I kind of like it. I'm gonna have to come back and watch this video myself. This is some good, good art. Look at that wall. Oh, that's so great. Here you go. This one. This is the cover. What's that? I, there's a lot of guys that all look kind of... Oh, it's Olivier Coipel or those okay. pages. Olivia? Yeah, uh, yeah all, like, it looks like Olivier. Okay, let's go over here. Sorry, what else do we got? Process. We got Casada, Lanil Yu, Splat. We always do Splat. Let's, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, let's look at some Stephen Platt. You got any new stuff or is it... The... I sold a bunch of it yesterday. Oh, did you? Nice, yeah. that's good. He said he, he, said he might come back tomorrow. Is he in San Diego? Is he in San Diego? He in LA. LA. Like this. Oh, uh, here's like a little Stephen Platt sketch. Look at this. This is small. This is about three by four inches. No, it's not that big. Oh, it's like two, two by three and a half. Okay, here, I'm going to set this right here. So here's this. How you been? Good? Classic page. I thought that I thought I knew someone that owned this. First time back here in 15. So. Is it? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Well, oh wait, it was the last time I came, and then you know the whole stock market thing, everything went to pot for like years, and then we had COVID later, and you know didn't get into the No. Everything on good otherwise. Yeah. I mean, I really like that piece, but I don't know if I like the thirty-five thousand dollars. That's good, you're just 45. Oh, I'm sorry, 45. <laughs> anyway, no, you get my point. Of course, no, it's expensive to share. Yeah, this portfolio is a lot more empty than it's been. Yeah, it's sold a bunch of Steven Platt. That's good. Some of the little Mobius things. I don't know why the chat isn't updating. Sorry, the chat hasn't updated in like 10 minutes, so I'm only, I'm not seeing everyone's comments. I don't know why. It's relative. You buy stuff, sell stuff, that kind of thing. 
I'd be replying to you guys more, but it just keeps showing that I haven't been to Comic Con since 2009. Comment real fast right now, can you guys? And let me see if any chats come up, if you don't mind. I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of the chats. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, here we go. I got it. Let's see. It's not updating, though, our live chat. Here we go. Okay, I got it. Uh, now they're coming through. I must have hit something on my camera when I shoved it in my my pocket when I was freaking out. I got it. Yeah, you guys are... I'm seeing it now. Yeah, what's up, Mudbutt? How are you? Nick Harris is here. We got yeah. Comics hey, Hunter. Oh, this is a nice page. Hey, Lake Cake, how are you? <laughs> Nikki, how are you? Oi, oi. Is this thing on? I know, right? <laughs> Sorry, it was my. It was probably my fault, honestly. I'll take the blame. Oh man, his pencils so good. I love this page too. My pity comments are now coming through. All oh, right, right, right. Our piffy, piffy, yeah. The Mobius like pages. Um, these are Soul Saga. I think the first issue or two of Soul Saga might have been inked, and then I, I maybe the last couple were. I pity the fool. Pithy of the fool. Soul Saga is 2001. God, was it that long ago? 22 years? That's crazy. Is the room open right now? They never really, they never made the big announcement. The exhibit hall will okay. be opening momentarily. There you go. So, so is that a real person or is that a robot? So, That's what I just asked. Because it's the same guy's voice every, every year. year. Friggin, friggin. Friggin. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, someone told me it was Skynet. <laughs> you know what? I, I think it was spread. He recorded it like 25 years ago and they've just been using it. He was fine. Oh, his horse is great in this. That's a nice horse. It's a nice horse. All right, Quan, I should. Oh, ooh, look at these. Some sketches. Yeah, yeah, and I apologize that the beginning of it was so jerky and stuff like that, but like I said, I was really freaking out. I thought I had lost my portfolio. That, that I don't even want to think about. Oh, my God. Dude, I, I literally have unfinished Blaster Kid pages in there. There's pencils. There's all the finished pieces that you guys have seen, like the covers. I have two covers, the Blaster Kid in there. Um, you know, I haven't had a chance to shop yet. Um, sketch by Steve. Oh, sorry, my, I don't have my glasses on. Um, I haven't I haven't had a chance to shop yet, so I have not gone around to look. But I definitely will do that today, and I'll let you guys know. I'll take photos of whatever I pick up today. But let me do this. We'll walk back together to my booth, and then I'll say goodbye to you all. So let's go. Juan, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Eddie, I'll see you later. H have, have fun. Bye, guys. Who did that Spider-Man? That's great. The big one? With the... Oh, Kasada? Man, that's amazing. Uh, okay, here, let's go check this out really quick. I'm gonna scoop back here really quick without hopefully making it. I don't think I can fit, Quan. I'm gonna, uh, with my shorts, they're gonna catch. Can you just hand it to me really quick or hold it up? Just bring it over. Or I could do like this. Oh, okay. I just don't, I just don't wanna get my, I don't wanna take down your whole wall with like the corner of my shorts. Check this out. Man, that is such a great piece. Huh? Check out this. This is Arthur Adams right here. And these are all original art, just so you guys know. Some bacalos. Oh man, that's nice.
hey, how's it going, Jordan? How are you? It's another matter of error. There's a little Neil, beautiful pencils on this. So good. Wow, Lanil Sitchis. Ooh, look at Arthur Adams, Darth Vader. Okay, here we go. We're gonna scroll up. Oh man, that is nice. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Is this, oh, it is Capullo, man. The Capullo pencil cover. I've never seen this before. Okay. All right, so let's head back to Artist Eye. Thank you so much, Quan. I really right, appreciate no it. Problem, man. Have a great show today. Too, Bring me money. <laughs> no. Hey, how are you? Not bad. Yourself? Good. All right, so I'll show you guys Artist Alley, and then we'll say goodbye. Hopefully my phone isn't totally dead. Whew. All right, let's see here. Oh, there's Terry Dotson's table. All right, so this is our, our Artist Alley. We get three feet of space for $350. So it's a little expensive, but here's Uku's table. So this is really interesting. I'll show you guys this. So this is Olo Markers, which used to be the Copic guys. And what they've done is they've made a custom Alex Sinclair box of colors that are, it's called the Trinity set. And what's cool is you get all the colors that he would use to color Batman, Wonder Woman, or Superman by hand. And he even has like a chart so that you know what colors to use. But these pens are great. I'll get Alex at some point to come on and talk about them. But it's really, really interesting. And these are the pens. They're, they're really, really nice. But they have a brush tip, chisel tip. You can actually switch it out too. So half your pen can be one color. The other half can be another color. You can have brush tips on both sides. So you can really customize these more. And they're cartridges. You don't fill them with liquid ink. So you take a cartridge like this. You pop it in. You use whatever tip you want. And that's half of your pen. So if you wanted to have like, um, like a light peach and like a rust color, you could have one pen with these two colors on it. So they're pretty interchangeable. And Alex says it's great because when he travels, he only needs to bring like half the amount of pens. He brings like 130 pens instead of like, you know, 260. So he's super stoked on them and they look like great pens. So, all right, here's my table. I'm going to go. I will see you guys tomorrow and, um, you know, check out Instagram. I'll be posting photos of the stuff that I buy today. So, all right, I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. If you can, hit the like on the way out. And um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. The exhibit hall is now open to attendees. It's official. Have all right, wish me luck. Bye, guys and girls. I don't even know how to turn this off. Here, here, here. Dude, I, 